Welcome to the first episode of Soul Food, Devotions on the Go. I'm Pastor Nick. Today I want to speak to you on the topic, I struggle, but I'm still saved. Spiritual struggles can lead to doubt, emptiness, distress, and failure. It's frustrating as you wonder whether you will be right with God. One way to overcome this is by knowing the truth of your salvation. Ephesians 2.10 gives a very powerful summary of this. It says, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. This verse says that our salvation is prearranged as God's masterpiece, predetermined, created for good things, and pre-planned long ago. In other words, God is the architect of our salvation. It is foolproof. Prearranged. As God's masterpiece, we have been perfectly crafted by him in Christ to be saved. Imagine an apple seed. It is not an apple tree, but everything that it needs to become an apple tree is inside it. It is a designed masterpiece with huge potential. Likewise, in Christ, we are designed as God's masterpiece to be saved. The faith needed, the strength needed is inside us in Christ. Predetermined. See, being saved, we are created anew to do the good things. The path of your salvation will take you to your purpose in God's great plan. Overcoming temptation, ministering change in others, growing in God's grace and power. Just like the seed is determined to become an apple tree, in Christ you are determined to be victorious in your living. Pre-planned. God planned this path for us long ago. Long before you were born, he planned your salvation. He knew the many spiritual struggles that you would face and made provisions for them in Christ. Provisions for you to be above them and keep advancing to the goal. Long before the apple seed came from an apple, the path for it to become an apple tree that would one day provide food and shelter for so many was already prepared. But there is one very important part of this plan which depends on you and not God, the architect. You see, if the apple seed remains in the cupboard, it will never grow. It needs to be in the right condition for the miracle of growth to set it on its preordained path. Likewise, the right condition for us is in Christ. We are created in Christ for good works. Let me end by saying, despite the struggles, focus on remaining in Christ and the God who have prearranged, predetermined, and preplanned your salvation will see you through it. See you next time. God bless you.